Hey, welcome to Hello It Happens. I'm John McCulkin and it is Friday, October 20th, 2006. First in the news today, Grey's Anatomy star T.R. Knight. He has come out of the closet. He has admitted that he is gay. But there's more to this story than meets the eye. Now, everything I'm about to tell you is allegedly, so keep that in mind, okay? But do you recall last week when I told you that two of the cast members on Grey's Anatomy got into a huge argument on the set? Well, allegedly, it was over T.R. Knight. Allegedly, one of the cast members made a derogatory statement about gays and the other cast member defending T.R. Knight um, got into an argument with that cast member. Now, the cast, that cast member who allegedly made a derogatory statement about gays denies he ever made a derogatory statement, so that's for the record. But T.R. Knight, knowing that all of this was about to hit the tabloids, said, well, I might as well come out of the closet now because everybody's going to know within a week anyway. So that's the story, allegedly, from the set of Grey's Anatomy. Now, I've worked on that show before. I've um, worked with T.R. Knight. He's a great guy, real nice guy, so I wish him all the best now that he's come out of the closet. Um, good luck to you, buddy. Um, next, we got uh, Wesley Snipes. What's going on with Wesley? Apparently, he owes $12 million in back taxes. They've issued a warrant for his arrest, but he's nowhere to be found. Wesley, come home. Next, we got Haley Joel Osment. Remember, he got into trouble a couple months ago driving under the influence? Well, he has pleaded no contest to DUI, and he was given three years probation and must attend uh, 26 AA meetings over the next six months. Uh, country singer Keith Urban. He uh, married Nicole Kidman about, what, say four months ago? Well, he has checked into rehab to try to lick a drug or alcohol problem, and uh, he was back in rehab back in 1998, so we hope he works it out this time. Good luck to you, Keith Urban. Uh, George Michael tells a British TV station that pot keeps him sane, so more power to you. Uh, George Michael, if that's what it takes, and keep smoking that pot. And uh, Anna Nicole Smith refuses to take a paternity test to find out who the real father of her baby daughter is, and she just buried her son Daniel in the Bahamas. So that's the latest on Anna Nicole. Kevin Federline was on the Tonight Show with Jay Leno last night to promote his world tour. Yes, world tour? What's up with that? Maybe I should go on a world tour. No, no, wait, why don't you and I and all of us together go on a world tour? I mean, if Kevin Federline can do it, I, I guess anybody can go on a world tour. 79-year-old uh, Gina Lola Brigida, remember her? She was a beautiful, she is a beautiful, beautiful woman, especially back in the 1960s. Well, she has just gotten married. She's 79, she married a guy that's 45 years old. But the story doesn't end there. They've been dating for the past 22 years, since the guy was 23 years old. So, more power to you, Gina Lola Brigida. Uh, Movies. I'm going to do Box Office Monday on Friday this week. The Grudge 2 brought in $20.8 million. Man of the Year brought in $12.3 million. The Marine, $7.1 million. And One Night with the King, $4.1 million. Celebrity birthdays today, Bill Nunn turns 53 and Danny Boyle turns 50. I'm sure they're both watching. Happy birthday, guys. And on this day in history, Bella Lugosi was born back in 1882. And on this day in history, the great actor Burt Lancaster passed away back in 1994. Okay, in shout outs today, I want to do a shout out to the Ninja of Darkness. He has some great videos, he adds great music to his videos, so check them out if you get a chance. Uh, T H E N I N J A O F D A R K N E S S, the Ninja of Darkness. And then I want to do a shout out to the great composer, Duke Righteous. He's just uploaded some new videos to his channel page, so check them out. They're awesome. So he's uh, D-U-K-E-R-I-G-H-T-I-O-U-S, Duke Righteous. And then my last shout out goes to Texas Toast. They have finally uploaded episode seven, Pumpkins. It's completely awesome. Watch it if you haven't. That's Texas Toast episode seven, titled Pumpkin. So check it out, Chris Erfalias, Tony Hartman. You guys do an awesome job with that show. Well, that's it for today's show. I hope you enjoyed it. 
If you did and you'd like to become a subscriber to the show, it's so easy and it doesn't cost a dime. Do you see that orange button that says subscribe? Just click on it. When you do, you'll get my videos as soon as I upload them. And if you like videos here on YouTube, it's real important that you rate them. Do you see them stars? Click on that fifth star if you enjoyed the show. Well, that's it for today's show. I'm going to have another show real soon, I promise. I thank you for watching and I thank all of my new subscribers. You guys are awesome. I'm going to have another show real soon, like I said, so just take care, everybody, and I'll be back before you know it. Oh, and by the way, I'll see you in Hollywood. <laughs>